Hello, my name is Brandy, aka Pixelated Twix. If you're new here, first off, welcome. And if you're an OG, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Um, yeah, welcome back to my corner of Elgore's internet. Uh, this is another episode of Journey to Redemption, and we're here with Tatiana, and I believe Nico is here somewhere. The last time we left off, Tatiana, um, sort of met her real father and um she had a huge argument with her mother and Tatiana took off for um well she took off she ran away she went to stay with Nico and she's been over at Nico's house for most of the week um or the weekend and Nico decided that it was time for her to come home and confront her mother and try to at least smooth things over. Well, Elle is gone. She is at work. Um, I believe she just left for work. What time is it? Nine o'clock. Yeah, she just left for work. So that's kind of convenient. But he just wanted to make sure that um, he was here for her. Um, just in case anything went down, he, you know, he basically said if should she, um, should anything happen, She's more than welcome to come and live with them. Um, he looks a little worried. Grandma Lily isn't saying much. I think she's honestly trying to stay out of it because she knows that her daughter was wrong. Elle was wrong for keeping this a secret. And um, she's, why is the sink always breaking? Um, she knows that her daughter was wrong and she had just told her, you need to be honest with her. Um, so look, she's like, I can't believe this. I, I absolutely knew this was going to happen. I'm going to have her um, talk to Nico just to see um, how her granddaughter is doing. Um and just to, you know, thank him for taking care of her, her baby. I'm so glad you're here, Nico. I, I don't know what I'm going to do with either one of them. You have been amazing. Tell your parents I'm so thankful for them that they even let her stay over. Um, ask, let's see if she can ask about Tati. I saw that she went straight upstairs. How is she doing how was she doing all weekend? I was really worried about her. She's she's good, Grandma Lily. She's she just um Oh, okay. He's in love with her, apparently. I'm in love with Tati. Um I just wanna let you know. And I will make sure that she's okay. I promise you I will take care of her. I just worry about her because of the situation with her mom. Things will work out, Nico. They always do, but um you just need to be there for Tati. Try not to get in between her and her mother, but just make sure that you are continually a friend for her because she needs it right now. I will, I promise. I do. Um, good. You're a good boy. I, I know that, and you're from a good family. Um, I have known your family for a very long time, at least your grandfather, um, so let's get, let's have her get to know him a little bit better. And I want to go check on Tati. She's in here asleep. Oh, look at her. She's just tuckered out. My goodness, girl, you have had yourself a long weekend, haven't you? I feel so bad for her. And then at the same time, I'm kind of upset with her because, um, Okay, I'm, I'm not sure. I thought th for some reason I saw this, uh, the yellow, and I was like, oh, she's got to use the bathroom. Um, but no, she was hungry. And okay, uh, <laughs> um, okay, 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 okay. She, she has the option to take a pregnancy test. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do that just yet. I'm a little afraid to do that, guys. I really am. Um, this is kind of the last thing she needs to be worried about. And I don't, uh, I, I, I don't think that it would be this soon. Grandma, come on. <laughs> that 
<laughs> music. Okay, so she's hungry. Um, I'm going to have her eat and then maybe come over here and um, just be friendly with, with Nico because she obviously doesn't want to be uh, flirtatious with him around her grandma. So let's have a deep conversation. And basically, she's just going to tell him that he can go home. I think she's fine. Um, can you give him a hug? Uh, I don't know. Can you do that? Discuss interests. Um, give him a hug. Tell him that you're okay. I'm doing fine, Nico. Um, I You can go home now. I know you need to get home to... Get ready for tomorrow for school. I think I'm going to take the next day or so off um, just to... No, I'm not going to say that. Um, get my thoughts together. Um, they're not feeling... Grandma, okay. What are you doing? Okay, no thanks. But I need you to stop. <laughs> I need you to stop right now. Please. Uh, all right, so we're going to have Tati um, tell him to head home because that's what we were trying to do. Oh, he's going to go anyways. Okay, good. We didn't have to do that. Thank you, Nico. You're, you're too kind. You're too kind. So, you guys, I'm going to have to have her take this pregnancy test because I cannot let this go. I have been bothered by this ever since the option came up. I really don't want her to have to take this while her grandmother's at home, but I want her to take it before her mother comes home. So um, we're going to go ahead and do that right now. Um, can Okay, I was going to say, can she use, can she take it without having to use the bathroom? Okay, um, I, my stomach literally just knotted up. I don't know why I'm so nervous, um, but uh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> okay okay all right i'm gonna pop i'm gonna play i had to pause it for a second i'm so nervous i don't okay let's go let's go okay she's pregnant she is pregnant oh my gosh okay she's pregnant all right. We, okay. She's excited about this. She's actually, is she? No, she's not. She's not. She's, she's not excited. She shouldn't be. She's a teenager. She's not even out of high school. This is her last year in high school. She has big plans for her life. Um, she hasn't been feeling, um, oh gosh, don't tell your grandmother. Um, okay. She's not going to tell her grandmother. We're just going to, we're not going to share big news with grandma. We're just going to let her know that we're fine. And um, grandma's just coming here to check on her. She's like, grandma, I'm, I'm fine. I just, I just want to be left alone for a little while. Honey, if you need to talk, I'm here for you. Just know that. Um, if you need me to take you over to see your father, I will do that too. I just want to make sure that you're okay. Um, brighten her day and... Um, you need to work things out with your mom. You only have one mother and she, yeah, she doesn't make the best decisions all the time, but she had her reasons. I'm not saying that she was right, but I need you to understand that uh, your mother does the best she can by you. And she made a lot of sacrifices for you so you can have a good life. So you need to give her a chance to explain herself. Grandma, I, I've, I've given her plenty of chances. I'm 18 years old and she had 18 years to tell me. So Tati isn't going to be readily forgiving. Um, her manners are just going down the tubes. But uh, yeah, she's she's a little upset about this whole thing about being pregnant. She doesn't know what she's going to do. I'm going to have her run over to her friend's house, um, to Shiloh's house to talk to her because right now Shiloh's the only person that um, would probably understand her situation, even though Shiloh's never obviously been pregnant, but this is her best friend besides Nico. And um, she doesn't want to tell Nico right now because Nico would have a panic attack. So I'm going to have her go over Shiloh's house 
and um, I'm going to have her go by herself. We'll be back in just a moment. Shiloh is actually happy to see her friend, even though she looks a little miffed. Um, she's just glad to see her, and <laughs> Tati is over here complaining, telling her what happened. She's like, girl, I love you. You know I do. But you knew that your mom was hiding something. She was never forthright with you, forthcoming with you um, regarding your dad. You know this. So why are you angry? Because she lied. She could have just told me the truth. But this is not why I came over here. Yeah, I need to tell you something, and um, I need you to come upstairs. Okay, let's just share big news with her. Uh, maybe Shiloh will step away from the TV and just come upstairs. Will you come upstairs, Shiloh? Please? Please come upstairs, Shiloh? Please? Okay, you're going to make us come downstairs. Great. Okay. Well, we'll have to say it in front of her dad. That's just lovely. I have something to tell you, and I need you to be calm. Are, are you kidding me, girl? You're pregnant? Yes. Who's the dad? Who do you think the dad is? You've got to be kidding me. Nico? Yes. Have you told him? No, I haven't told him yet. I just found out. Are you going to tell him? I, I don't know. I, I have no idea. I, I mean, I have to, but I, I don't know when. Or, um, so you guys actually... You know, yeah, we did. It, oh, my gosh. Tati, you've got a lot going on, girl. First your dad, now this. Uh, yeah, you're right. I have a lot going on. I, I, <laughs> my mom's going to kill me. Maybe she won't. Your mom lied about your dad. I think she's in a position now where she's probably going to... Try to make up for everything she's done. So maybe she won't. No, you don't know my mom. She doesn't think she's wrong in this. And I don't know. I think, I don't know what's going to happen. What can she do? Put you on punishment? Probably. I'll probably never get to see Nico again. I highly doubt that. He's the father of your kid. You got to promise me this, Shiloh. You can't tell anyone not your sister not your parents no one this is between me and you I need to figure out what I I have to do okay girl I'm your friend of course I you have my word I won't say a word I promise okay so Tati has a this has a lot to think about right now she doesn't know what she's going to do. Um, she's definitely not going to tell her mom yet. Um, she's not going to tell Nico. She has to figure things out. Um, yeah. So at this point, I think the only person that she could probably talk to that is neutral is her father. Um, and she's got to figure out where he lives. So we, I do remember there being letters on her mom's dresser. So we're going to go and see if those letters have a return addresses, which they probably do. So I'm going to have her head home. Um, I'm going to have her hang, hang out with Shiloh and her sister for a little while. And then we will meet you guys back at the house and see if we can find out some information about her dad. If not, her grandmother, oh, but her grandmother could take her. We'll see. I'll see you guys in just a moment. It is the next day and Tati is on the couch. Oh, look at Astro talking to her grandma and she's Getting the information that she needs from Lily Mae um, with regards to his address or her father's address. Um, Lily Mae knows that her father lives in Brindleton Bay and that he has a wife and a child. Um, she knows that much. She's been keeping in touch with him over the years. Uh, Tati is a little confused as to why her grandmother did not tell her about her father and Lily Mae was quite honest with her. She basically explained to her that 
it was not her place to, you know, tell her about her father. This was something that her mother needed to do, but she certainly, again, encouraged her mom um, incessantly that she needed to be open with Tati about the whereabouts, about her father and his whereabouts. So Tati isn't that angry with her grandmother. She understands um, how, you know, she understands now why the secret, um, why her grandmother kept her mother's secret, even though um, she knew. Um, she's just, again, at her wit's end with her mom. All right, so I'm going to have Tati skip out on school today. Um, Grandma, I'm going to go over my dad's house today. Are you sure that's what you want to do? Yeah, I think I need to talk to him. Tati, if that's what you think you need to do, by all means, do so. Do you need me to go with you? No, I'm fine. I'll be fine, I think. But um, I think I need to do this by myself. Okay, honey, if you need me to go, if you change your mind, I'll be here. Um, but keep I'll keep my cell phone on. You make sure you have your cell phone with me, with you. And if you need the support, I'll be over there um, in a quick, fast, and a hurry. All right, so Tati's made her decision. She's going to go ahead and head over to her dad's house. Her mom, um, I'm going to have her call in to school. Um, can she take, oops, wrong, wrong, yeah. What, take a vacation day? Wait, no. Um, yeah, take a vacation. So I'll have her call off from school, take a shower, and then I think we're going to go ahead and head over to her dad's house. I hope he doesn't have to work today. It might be a little bit early now, but I think um, once she takes her shower and she probably needs to eat something, yeah, um, maybe we should go like soon because I don't even know what... Okay, so she's she's already dressed. Oh, okay. Uh, making friends. I really want to be friends with someone, but they don't seem to really want to be friends with me. How can I make them my friend? I think Tati is actually asking her grandmother about um, her doubts about her father. She wants to have a relationship with her father, but she's not sure how to go about it. So she's just giving her grandmother a, like, um, what is that? Like, let's, let's just say the scenario, I, the word is lost to me right now, but, um, her grandmother is wise to what Tati's asking her and she's just like, just be yourself, be friendly, be yourself, Tati. Um, you are a wonderful, a wonderful little girl a young woman actually now she's 18 she's almost out of high school she is a young woman and she knows that her father loves her so she's like just be yourself and don't worry about his wife or his daughter they will come around if they're not there with him right now but just be you and you'll win them over no matter what so her grandmother gave her that little bit of encouragement and so Tati is ready to go. She's feeling really good about this. Um, so she's going to go ahead. She looks so cute. She's going to go ahead and head over there. So I'll see you guys in Brindleton Bay. She's a little nervous and it's super early still. Look at her. She's not even sure where to go. This place is huge. This is way bigger than the house she's, she grew up in. Look at that. She went to the back door. Okay. All right, uh, she's in the house, and look at her. She's very tentative. Why is she taking a selfie? Um, her father is right over there, and um, look at her. She's like, she's happy to see him, but she's got this smile on her face. It's that hesitant smile, like, okay, I'm happy to see him, but... I'm not sure how this is going to go. Um, I, I don't blame her for being nervous. So we're going to see how he's how he's going to respond to her. Um, so can 
okay, they know each other. So, um, um, Mr. LeBeau, do I call you dad? Ah, oh, Tati, I'm so glad you're here. Okay, I, I, I didn't know that you'd be okay with me coming by. I'm so sorry I didn't call. It's okay. I'm glad you're here. Um, I didn't think your mom was going to let you s let me see you or let you see me. She doesn't know that I'm here. I, I came over here by myself. She has no idea where I'm at. All right, yeah, I just thought about it. Aren't you supposed to be in school? It's Monday. I took today off. It's okay. It's all right. Um, so I was wondering if, if it's okay if I um, hung out with you for a little while today. Yeah, it's good. Um, look, I just want to tell you that I'm glad that you took the initiative by coming over and forcing my mother to tell me who you were. I'm glad that I, I'm glad that you're glad that I did. I was worried that you would not, um, I'm glad that you did. I thought that you would reject me. No, daddy, I, is it okay if I call you that? She looks so shy, look at her. It's fine if you feel comfortable calling me dad, daddy, whatever it is that you want to call me, even if it's just Mr. LeBeau for now. Um, make yourself at home, hon. I've got to get good ready for work. Okay, so her dad's actually a, uh, is he a vet or a, I don't know what he is. To be honest, I'm not sure what he does for a living. I think he's a veterinarian. I think he owns his own vet um, hospital, which is why they live out here in Brindleton Bay. Um, and he moved out here a long time ago with his wife. I'm not sure where they're at. Oh, there's his daughter or her sister, her half sister. Um, maybe she can introduce herself. Uh, now I have to see where the mom is. Where's the mom? Is she here? Okay. She's down here. She spends a lot of time in this area. This is her private bedroom. I'm not sure why they sleep in separate rooms right now maybe she's a little upset about the whole uh other daughter thing and why is a cat bowl on the counter what is this where's the cat do they have a cat do they have a pet okay anyway so um tati's just gonna explore a little bit um i'm sure she's quite uh, curious about her father's digs um his house is beautiful it's quite large like i said compared to what she's used to um oh gosh they're gonna cross paths uh why is this little girl not wearing clothes okay um is she going to school she's going to school like this y'all is she wearing shorty shorts or her undies oh, okay well, we're just gonna say those are shorty shorts so, uh, she's, like I said, she's making herself at home. Um, she's going to go in their bedroom. She already did, I think. Um, is this? Yeah, this is their bedroom. She's just amazed at this house and she's hungry. She is going to always be hungry for a while. Um, she's going to go in here and check out her, I guess, her half-sister's room. She's really curious. So cute. It's small, but it's really cute. Um, she's looking around and I think she's kind of not jealous, but like this could have been her life had her mom just done right by her. So she's just making herself at home. The, his wife is downstairs chilling, has no idea Tati's here. Tati's seriously depressed right now. She's just like, wow, my mom struggled all these years. Little does she know her mother did not struggle. He has been sending her mother child support checks and paying for her tuition every year, every month. So Tati is just like, wow, their house is gorgeous. You know, he seems really, really nice. And she's starting to think about what kind of life she could have. 
Um, and maybe this might be an option for her. She's got a lot to think about. All right. So yeah, she's, I think, come to a decision about what she's going to do. And um, I think she is going to ask her father if she could come live with him. She's not seeing eye to eye with her mom. They're, she doesn't see, and her mother's still angry. Look at this. She's still upset. Yeah, she's not seeing eye to eye with her mom, and she doesn't see herself forgiving her mom anytime soon. I'm not even sure where their relationship is right now. Let's see. Okay. All right, so she doesn't hate her mom, but she doesn't like her very much right now. So, um, yeah, she feels like also this is a way for her to escape. So she's got to deal with this pregnancy, and she's got to deal with her living situation, um, and she needs to come to some kind of decision about telling Nico about her baby. Little girl, you've been gone all weekend and I haven't seen hide nor hair of you. You are not grown. I don't care how long I've kept your father from you. I am still the mother here. You know what? Screw you and your rules. I have every right to see my father. And that's exactly what I did, but I needed some time away from here. I needed some time away from you. Okay, well, you think you're grown? Okay, that's fine. That is fine. Then you can leave. <sighs> okay, well, that's fine. I, I don't mind. <sighs> Look at Grandma L. Grandma Lily Mae. Oh, Lord. She's going to have to talk to her. Look, Tati. You don't have to leave. This is my house. Grandma, she's right. I can't live here like this, and you can't live in this. I went to go see my dad, like I told you. How did that go? It, it went okay. Um, he's really nice. Yeah? I know that. <laughs> he's always been a good guy. They just, your parents, they didn't work out. Can you tell me what happened? Why why didn't they work out? Well, your mother and he just had a disagreement about everything. They just didn't get along. He was more traditional and she, your mother, was a wild child. My mother was a wild child? I can't believe that. Honey, your mother was the most hard-headed kid I'd ever seen. But that's partly your grandfather and my fault. We spoiled her. She was our only child. We had her late in life. And she... She was spoiled. And he came from a very strict home. So he wasn't used to her wild ways. When she got pregnant with you, he wanted to marry her. And she said, absolutely not. Well, that's great. Basically, she's following in her mother's footsteps. That's just how she feels. Not the getting married thing, but she's young. She's a teenager. She's pregnant. And she's alone right now. More lonely than she's ever felt before. And... She just doesn't have the courage to tell Nico that she's pregnant. She doesn't want to lose him. She has a feeling that if she tells him, he's going to run. But also the fact that she doesn't want to ruin his life. Nico has a lot, a lot going for him. He could go into be a professional athlete. He could become anything he wants to be, a doctor just like his father. But if she tells him that she's pregnant, he will probably not go to college. She'll stay home and try to help take care of this baby. Why am I doing that? Why do I do that all the time? Tati, you need to tell me, are you pregnant? Oh my gosh, honey. Oh no. When, how long have you been hiding this? Grandma, I didn't. Honey, I've had I've had enough experience with pregnancies to know. Yeah. Should I tell mom? Honey, you've got to tell her something. 
Of course, Grandma Lily Mae cannot hold water in a bucket, and so she, of course, took the responsibility of telling Elle that her her daughter is pregnant. And Tatiana was like, you know what? Come feel the baby. She's at this point, like, she doesn't care anymore. What can her mother do? She's pregnant. She can't put her on punishment. She's pregnant. She's having a baby. She's becoming She's going to be a mom, and so she's going to yell at her daughter, um, basically telling her that she's making a huge mistake. She expected so much more from her daughter. Um, how could you be this, this stupid? You have so much going for you. you. I worked too hard for you to go the same route that I did. Tati, what did you expect? You're not here for me ever. Ever. You've never been honest with me. You're constantly on my case about something. I can't go there. I can't go there. Of course, I'm pregnant. Isn't that how it goes, Mom? The girls that are always stuck at home get a little freedom and they act out, don't you dare talk to me that way. You know what? Maybe you're right. Maybe you need to go live with your father. Fine. I had plans on moving in with him anyways. You're going to regret this. You're going to regret every moment. Tati's like, whatever. All right. I'm going to send her to bed. She's tired, and I am going to have Elle... Give him a call. Give give him. Give. What's his name? He knows his name. <laughs> give <laughs> Trenton a call. Um, invite him over to talk to Tati. All right. It's super early in the morning or late, however you want to, you know, go about it. But Tati invited her dad over. She really needed to talk to him. And he's all about it. He... He is wanting to be a fixture in her life because he hasn't had the opportunity over the years. And he's just happy that she's trying to include him now. Um, she just wanted to, you know, have a friendly conversation with them first before she <laughs> throws this right over in his lap um, and get him in a great mood. He is in a great mood. He's just, he's glad to be present. Um, Dad, I'm so glad that you came over. I realize that you need to get home, but I really need to ask you a question. And I don't know how um, you're going to respond. Um, oh, she's trying to go to sleep. I need you to come and talk. I'm going to cheat her energy up just a little bit. Sorry. We need to get this out because... Um, he came all the way over here from Brindleton Bay, and she needs to go ahead and look at him. He's so happy that, um, he's so happy that she is accepting him as her father because it could have gone a whole nother route. Even though this isn't the greatest situation, um, Dad, I, I need to tell you something. I, I. Well, first I should ask you, um, I know that this is kind of spur of the moment and you don't really know me, but I was wondering if it were okay that I come live with you in Brindleton Bay. I just want to get to know you and, well, there's something else before you. Look, I would be happy to have you come live with me. What does your mom say? Well, I haven't exactly told her yet, but, um, well, he just went right in the refrigerator. <laughs> um, I haven't exactly told her yet, but I think that, um, she will be very, very cooperative about this because I'm... Uh, I'm pregnant. He's stunned. 
He's like, I'm just going to sit here and eat my food. What? Um, yeah, dad, um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm pregnant. I, I haven't told her yet, but I have a feeling that she knows. Tati, well, okay, we can handle this. Um, do you want to fill the baby? Oh my gosh, I... Wow. Okay. Well, okay. Um, maybe it's best that you do come live with me because apparently this, this isn't, this isn't a great situation for you. You are not happy and you're pregnant. I, I, I have to step in. So yes, you may certainly come live with me in Brindleton Bay. Um, you'll have to go to the private school there. That's okay. I I don't have that much longer. This is like my last year in school anyways. Okay, well, you need to talk to your mom and um, well, I'll talk to her for you. All right, so I'm going to wake up Ellie, Ellie, Elle, and have her come down here and talk to Trenton really quickly because um, he's going to have to tell her about Tati's pregnancy since Tati isn't going to tell her. Uh, he just walked right on upstairs, um, and he's not going to take no for an answer. She's coming to live with him, and that's that. Um, Tati just told me some pretty interesting news. Did you know that she was pregnant? I had no idea. When did, what? Are you serious? Absolutely serious. What's going on here, Elle? First, you're lying about my existence. Now I find out my daughter's pregnant and she's asking to come live with me. Okay. I, 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 Trenton, what do you, what do you want from me? She doesn't talk to me. What I want for you is to be a mother. Really, Trenton? So now you're being a father because you're over here for a couple minutes? I don't think so. Well, Here's the deal. She's coming to live with me, and I'm not taking a no for an answer. She's 18. She can make that decision on her own. That's fine. If, if that's what you both want, I wash my hands of the whole situation. Pregnancy and all. Well, you're going to be present in her life. You're not going to just walk away from this. I'm not saying I'm walking away. I just feel like... Tati has a hard head and she's got to learn. Okay, so that's it. Tati is going to go live with her father. Um, I think she went on to school. No, she went to bed. Um, she did not. She's not going to school, I guess, today. Um, we're going to go ahead and um, have her start packing up her things and moving in with her dad. And um, I will see you guys in just a moment. All right, guys, we are here in Brindleton Bay, and this is Tatiana's uh, new room. She's actually kind of made herself at home, and she's been, you know, thinking a lot about the how she's going to deal with the rest of her life. She's left behind a, a, a road of chaos, really. Um, her life has been turned upside down with the knowledge of her pregnancy, and she's kind of at this precipice where she doesn't want to keep this from Nico, but she also doesn't want to ruin his life. She realizes that a baby can change everything. Yes, Nico's family has money, but Nico is not rich. Nico is still a, a, t a teenager just like she is. And she saw the struggle that her mother endured raising her so she does not want that for Nico she wants better for him and so she feels like keeping this from him will be the best thing um I don't agree but this is a decision that she's made and so moving to Brindleton Bay has given her the opportunity to have a fresh start um she has been she will be enrolled in private schools um in a private school what is this really Okay. Um, interesting pictures, but yeah, she's been enrolled in private school uh, where she will be. Uh, so she'll finish off her high school education there 
And who knows what happens from there? She did not get a chance to say goodbye to her friends. And um, she definitely did not get to say goodbye to Nico. Um, and she's just going to keep it that way. Uh, the only person that knows that she's pregnant outside of her family is Sh uh, Shiloh. And Shiloh promised to keep that a secret. Um, yeah, so that's it, guys, for season one. I hope you enjoyed it. I know this seemed a little rushed. But um, I guess it was kind of leading up to this point anyways. And I guess if you guys have been following me or this story, I think you probably knew where this was going to go. Now, where this leads us, I'm not sure. I'm kind of excited to see what happens to Nico, what happens to um, Elle, Lily Mae, Nico's parents, Nico's sister, and... Now what's going to happen to Tatiana in her new life in Brimbleton Bay? What are relationships going to be like with her father, her stepmom, Yuri, and her sister, um, Gabriella? And um, yeah, and the baby and what Tati will have. I wonder, um, you know what? I might just have you guys guess what Tatiana's having. Maybe I'll make that a contest. We'll see. Um, cause I have no idea and it'll be fun to kind of guess. Maybe we'll have some kind of, um, I don't know, baby shower where we find out, uh, the sex of the baby. I don't know how I'm going to do that, but anyways, you guys, uh, that is all I have for you today. Let me know, excuse me. Let me know in the comments below. Let me know in the comments below how you feel about the whole situation with Tati. I know most of you will disagree um, with her decision and rightly so. I'm not exactly sure I agree. Well, no, I know I disagree with Tati's decision, but she has made it. She's, she's fine. She's fine with it. She feels some sense of relief um, and a weight has certainly been lifted off her shoulder. Um, she is just going to have to deal with the repercussions of basically following in her mother's footsteps. Only this time the father will have no idea. So we will, um, let you guys go. I hope you enjoy this season of journey to redemption. We will be back for season two, most likely after university has been released and, uh, we will see what happens to our families I hope you guys enjoyed it and until next time. Oh, but before we leave, if you're not a member of the family and you want to come to the family reunion, by all means, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know every time I upload. I do upload at least three times a week, sometimes more. I hope you enjoyed this journey and I will talk to you later. Ciao.